Here's a video presentation of a self-contained video player for the Steam Deck called Motion Monkey. So I'm going to run the application here. It's currently a prototype that's been recently optimized for the Steam Deck. Um, previously, I've showcased uh, an application, a prototype that was called Tevolution, which essentially turned the deck into a remote television that you could access with your smartphone. This time, it's the very application that ran into the smartphone that I'm running on the deck, meaning that this is actually a self-contained video player, internet video player for the Steam Deck. It supports a few video backends here, DuckDuckGo, uh, YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, Twitch, SoundCloud, and a few other, and it keeps expanding. Um, there's actually a dedicated scripting language to extend the supported backend, and people can contribute freely on GitHub. Here, I'm going to search for something. Can use the, the keyboard of the, of the Steam Deck here. And once I found a completion I like, I can click on it. The touch screen is uh, pretty good for this kind of scenario. And the application has been full screen and scaled, especially for the deck. If, any, if, if anyone is interested, I might publish um, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So here are the YouTube results, but I can switch to Dailymotion here. Uh, the Dailymotion results here. Uh, and once I found uh, a video I like, I just I, I press, I hit play, and the playback starts right away. You can put a little bit of sound here. Compared to a smartphone, the Steam Deck is slightly bigger in diagonal, and the sound is uh, a little bit better, it tends to be a little bit better than your average cell phone, so it's, it's pretty good. But keep in mind you could, uh, plug an HDMI output to your deck and uh, essentially play the video on, the, on a big screen here. So I have a bunch of control here. I can change the quality of the video. I can switch to audio only if I want to save bandwidth. Uh, you have quality flags all the way to 4K. And I'm happy to report that the Steam Deck can decode 4K stream even with the software renderer, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. You can change the ratio here, stretch, expand, fit. We have a night mode and a light mode. Autoplay has been implemented recently, so it's fairly comprehensive, and you even have an included subtitle search here. If you have a Chromecast or a Chevolution, you'd be able here to, to, to cast uh, the video on your uh, Android TV, for instance. Um, the, the broadcast discovery is not yet implemented for Tevolution, but I'll do another video about that later. Here I can look for related video to what I'm currently watching. And I have my history here. So for instance, if I want to switch to another video I was, pre I was previously playing, I, I just click on it like that. And, uh, and we're good to go. This is a YouTube live stream. Can hit related here. Once I found another one, I can open it. So it's fairly comprehensive and it's state of the art uh, technology. On the recent version of um, Motion Monkey, I've actually added interactive videos. This is a GitHub VBML script that's publicly accessible that I've defined myself and the video stream you're seeing here is actually interactive through QR code here that I call video tag. For instance, if I click on that one, you have a playlist that I've defined myself. Anyone could do this. It's going to be entirely open and the standard is very easy. It's based on YAML scripting, actually. Uh, we have an electro uh, playlist here, for instance. And here I have what I call video hubs. Video hubs are essentially the equivalent of website for video, or you could say Blu-ray menu. For instance, here I can switch to another video hub that I've defined myself. It's a Coldplay fan video hub, but you could do one for the Steam Deck, for gaming in general, if you're interested. So here I can click on albums. I have the album. Bunch of clips. And so on. 
and you have a, na a video navigation implemented. I can do backward and forward. I can go back. I can go back to the streaming here if I want. Go back to this one. So it's fairly comprehensive. If you're interested by such technology, and if you'd like to use the same application on your Steam Deck, let me know. Uh, I'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you. The application is, is currently entirely free, gratis, and it's based on open source uh, technology. 90% uh, of the, 80 to 90% of the source code is currently open source, but not only that, but under LGPL, very permissive license. So I'm very happy to rely on open source technology for this project. Thank you for your time. Let me know, let me know what you think in uh, uh, the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one, um, maybe with a step-by-step -step tutorial next time. Thank you very much.